I wanted to cover the hands on a hard body contest going on in Longview, Texas. Frankly, I needed a little break from him, so I told him he could go. As long as he took a video camera and brought back the winner, he did that. Take a look at this tape piece, the hands on a hard body contest. We're here in Longview, Texas at a contest called Hands on a Hard Body. Now get this, what they're doing is that they're trying to win this truck. And what they got to do is stand there for as long as possible, keeping their hands flat on the truck without lifting it. The last person standing wins the truck. I think only get six minutes an hour off to go to the bathroom for food or whatever and then they get 15 minutes every six hours man well last year it went 94 hours and i've got twice the field at this time i did last year and so uh you know it could go way over 100 hours this time last year you only had 10 left. You guys are insane, bro, man. I just came back from the hotel, man. I was sleeping for like six hours, like eating food and stuff, having a good time, man. Don't you miss that? No, that, <laughs> that truck sitting right there is mine. Well, I see you're using the two-hand technique. Is there a special reason? I'm holding on. Did you buy those shoes specifically for the contest today? I certainly did. These shoes are three sizes too large. That dude's gonna lose, man. I saw him eating a cheeseburger earlier, man. Thank God. Give me a 45 hours. They're about to have a 15 minute break. I think there's about 30 seconds left. And then all of these cats are gonna be able to go off of the truck, go to their tent areas, go use the bathroom, get something to eat, like lay down, get off their feet, and then they're gonna have to come back. Break over there. Okay. As you can see, this contestant is totally zoning into a zen reality, tapping to his inner reaches. We lost you. No, <laughs> well, there's still. Whoa! 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 Sorry about that, dude, yeah, man. Yeah, Yo, get me. your hand up there, man. I think that I think that we're gonna have a couple of eliminations here. So, are you gonna come back next year or what? Oh yeah, yeah, I'll try again next year. Hey, now, this one, Warren Hearn has lasted longer than he did last year. Right. Yeah, how much longer do you think you can go? Well, last year I went 86 hours, and I'm figuring about 106 hours on it this year. I'm thinking more like 112. All right, it's gonna go until I let go of it. Oh, I got another minute past the last one standing. Oh no, I won't do this again. I'm gonna win it tonight, tomorrow night, Saturday night. What's <laughs> today? As of 5 a.m. Saturday, September 25th, the record of 94 hours was not just broken, it was shattered. Who's the last one left? Rosie, can you name the winner? I can because they told me before the segment started. Please welcome Jimmy and this year's winner, a very tired Brian Root. Thank you very much. How many hours did you last? 107 hours. 107 hours. Unbelievable. Yeah. Now, did you have a strategy going in? Yeah. I, uh, one of the things I did, I, I ate fruit the whole contest. Only nothing, fruit? Nothing but fruit. Because I there... figured, you know, you don't, it doesn't take digestion to, you know, eat the heavy stuff. And I just was real light the whole time. Really? Yeah. Now, when it gets down to the end, it's pretty, <coughs> pretty intense, is it not? Oh, it was, uh, it was horrible. Um, there were, I mean, the delirium sets in after like three, three days, and people don't know where they are. Um, he was a machine, though. You were uh, a machine? machine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had a plan, and I, I worked it. I actually, uh, I slept on the brakes. I think on the, that episode there, you could see me sleeping, and I was, I was meditating. So. No kidding. Now, yeah. have you ever done a contest like this before? Well, I, I've done a couple. In the past. Have you ever won before? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have. How many times have you won? Well, uh, about 20, actually. <laughs> uh, 20 cars? Yeah. I, uh... <laughs> You're a professional? Well, uh... <laughs> 
I didn't even know they had 20 accomplices like this. Well, this is over the, I mean, since 1983. I just uh, happened to find one here, one there, and one there, and it just, they add up. Do you have a job? No. Really? This is what you do all over the country? Well, part-time jobs here and there, but, you know. Wow, Brian, have you ever won this particular one before? No, and this is the first time I'd heard about this one. Did they know that you won 20 well, times before? No, nah, I think they do now. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> wow, well, now, now you're not going to be able to win anymore, that's, Brian. That's, that's what I'm afraid of. What do you of, do yeah. with the cars? Uh, I usually, uh, I've kept a few of them, but I sold them back to the dealership, maybe. And oh, and took, they'll give took, you money the instead. Cash. Yeah, some of them will do that. Yeah, yeah, well, that's amazing. Did you see the documentary based on this yeah, contest? Yeah, It was fascinating, oh, yeah, wasn't it? I went down it? to Austin to see it, and it was just, uh, it's a great documentary, yeah. It's and a great it, movie. It's a wonderful thing. Yeah, it got me fired up to, to do the contest. Yeah. It was you, and who was your final competitor? Uh, Kathy, uh, I can't even think of her last name, but uh, yeah, it was just me and her, and... She, uh, she got really uh, bad off at the end. She, her legs swelled up, and she was kind of delirious uh, wow. the whole time. The break before she lost, she had to run, run back to the uh, car after the break, and she had like one second left, and she got her hand back on there and just barely got back in. And then the next hour, she was just... Did totally she get anything for coming in second? She got a used, car, a used pickup truck. Good. That's yeah. better than nothing, yeah. I'll tell you that. Well, I want to say that I love the documentary. Yes. And I, I cannot believe that people actually do this. And the fact that you do it for a living, frankly, it frightens me. <laughs> um, Jimmy, great work as our correspondent, man. Thanks a lot. All right. We'll be right back with Britney Spears. Don't go anyway. Right.